In this video, we'll explore two powerful platforms revolutionizing workflow automation, Flowwise and N8N. We'll explore how these tools allow us to create sophisticated automation solutions without extensive coding knowledge. By the end of the video, you'll understand how to leverage these platforms for your automation needs. Let's do a quick demo of a real-world use case in action for lead research and generation. We'll walk through this in more detail later in the video. First, we'll use Flowwise to build a team of AI agents to research a potential collaborator based on a recent event. The lead researcher does the analysis, and the sales representative drafts a series of emails based on the research to progress the lead. This is all orchestrated by the supervisor. Then we'll use N8N's extensive tool integration, such as Gmail, to send out the email and conclude the flow. So let's start with what is Flowwise and N8N. Flowwise is an open source platform specifically designed for building AI applications, while N8N serves as a comprehensive solution for general workflow AI automation. The beauty of both platforms is that they eliminate the need for extensive programming knowledge while delivering powerful results. Flowwise really shines when it comes to AI implementation. Its user-friendly interface allows you to design AI workflows by simply dragging and dropping components. You can create custom AI agents tailored to your specific needs and access an extensive library of pre-built components to accelerate your development process. N8N brings a different set of strengths to the table. Its node-based architecture makes it incredibly intuitive to create workflows. With over 400 service integrations available, you can connect virtually any tool in your tech stack. While it's primarily no code, N8N also offers custom coding options for more advanced users. When used together, these platforms create a powerful automation ecosystem. You can use Flowwise to create AI agent team and N8N to give team superpowers with tools such as Google email and calendaring, creating a seamless flow of data between different systems. Let's look at some practical applications. These tools can automate customer service interactions, streamline lead generation processes, handle document processing, manage email communications, and create sophisticated data analysis workflows. The possibilities are truly endless. We saw a demo earlier in the video on lead analysis and outreach. Let's do a more detailed walkthrough. We're starting with our uh, Flowwise flow here in our lead research and outreach flow. So what you see is a team of agents with the supervisor here coordinating the work. So let's dig into the lead researcher and the lead sales representative and what they do. So I'll go into the prompt here. And as you can see here, it describes uh, the sales team, what their uh, goal is, and the purpose of this lead researcher is to perform analysis of the company for the lead company. So this is a parameter that is set later in uh, the prompt here, and then uh, the lead person to uh, contact. And their goal is to do this research and pass the information to the lead sales representative. So we're going to take a look at the prompt uh, values here. So uh, we set the company, the lead company, and the lead person. And then what we're going to do is uh, take a look at the lead sales rep. So their goal is to work with the uh, lead researcher to then uh, personalize and craft a email, a series of emails to highlight uh, how uh, the collaboration could be beneficial for both companies and then uh, send the email in HTML format to the tool attached. So what we have here is uh, two tools. So this tool here is the Google custom search. So uh, this is uh, part of uh, the tools that are provided by uh, here, provided by uh, uh, Flowwise in its extensive uh, catalog. And then there's also another tool, the custom tool here that we built. So this custom tool is a bridge uh, between Flowwise and any 10. So you set the email tool, you tell it that it's useful to send draft emails, you then provide the parameters in which it needs to uh, send to any 10 the email address, the subject, and the message. And there's a small amount of uh, boilerplate code here, which uh, there's an example here that you customize. Uh, so it's, it's very simple. You go to your uh, hook here uh, that uh, it's called a webhook that um, whenever this uh, email tool is required, it will call into this webhook and then it will um, uh, make the appropriate uh, 
uh, parameters to call into NA10. So uh, this is all powered by a chat model, and the chat model we're using here is GBT40 Mini. This is a, a great model to use because uh, it has great function calling abilities, uh, while it's very cost uh, cost effective. So I highly recommend this model. Now the next part we're going to use is uh, NA10. So NA10. It's a very, very simple workflow, but you can see one of the power of NA10 is that it has so many tools integration. So this is built outside of the box. So it's over uh, 400 tools integration that's built in that uh, you can use. And one of them that's very common is uh, Gmail. So what I'm doing here is uh, connecting my webhook. So that is uh, the back end to um, be, be able to uh, listen to uh, the function call from uh, Flowwise, and then call into the Gmail. So the Gmail will then uh, I map the, uh, the 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 email, the subject, and the message to the different parameters here in the Gmail node. And then when Flowwise calls it, then it'll hit this hook here, and then uh, hit the Gmail uh, node here. So you can see in execution, what I will encounter is a webhook with information and then this is then sent and then finally uh, this is sent to uh, the email. So what's the best way to get started? I've built a template in railway.app that you can create uh, both Flowwise and NA10 very easily. So you go to dashboard, new, deploy from a template, and A10. And you can see here Flowwise with NA10 AI automation. You click this. And all these are pre configured for you. So you just go deploy. And in about five minutes, you'll have both uh, NA10 and uh, Flowwise available as uh, part of the service. It costs about uh, seven to eight dollars to run per month to run both, uh, but uh, it's uh, very, very effective. So let me just show you this uh, once it's completed. So about three minutes later, you'll be able to get uh, this tile here, Flowwise. I click on that. And then when I press on this, it's created a Flowwise uh, image uh, with persistence. So everything you do here can be saved. All the flows will be uh, all active as well. And then uh, it's created another tile here that you can activate. And this is now your NA10 instance, all ready to get set up and going. Now to uh, update to the latest version, it, uh, it's very simple. You just go here and then do a redeploy. And this will redeploy uh, the next version uh, of uh, NA10. And the same thing here with Flowwise. You go here and then you redeploy.